All right, I am back, and David has just left. Um, very thankful that he came by for a few hours because he got me to this point. Uh, needing to eat some food, but I don't want to stop playing because you guys are all there watching me, I know. So uh, This is going to be the part of the night where we start playing some more solo games for uh, another six hours until uh, someone else comes to join me at 7 o'clock. Uh, so we're going to play some Stanley Parable and Thomas Was Alone, which are two pretty, uh, very popular indie games from the last couple of years. We'll move on and play some Mario for a couple hours, some Mario 3D World. Uh, and then uh, um, got some Pajama Sam coming up, throwback to some old kid PC game. Um, then some Rocket League, some Portal 2. And uh, I'm going to finish it off with one of my favorite games, Paper Mario and the Thousand Year Door. Uh, but for now, um, I need I owe you guys a drawing for another free game. And we're going to do that right now. So, we've still got a few people left who haven't won anything. Uh, and this time, uh, let's see, I gave that one away, gave that one away, that one away. So we still got five games, right? One o'clock, three o'clock, five, seven, and nine. Yeah. Uh, so this time, I'm going to give away a game called um, Never Alone. It's a cute little um, platformer. Uh, which I can talk a little bit more about in a minute. But time to choose the winner. And this time it is Josie. So congratulations, Josie. You have won a cute game called Never Alone. Um, it's kind of a story-based platformer about Alaska um, and some Alaskan folklore. Um, Julie and I played through it. She can, she can vouch for it being pretty entertaining. Um, so it's two-player, too, if you wanted to play with somebody else. But I'm just going to make sure that I put on um, subtitles. Cool. There we go. Hopefully you guys still hear it, and we're going to get going. So I'm not going to explain this game at all. I'm just going to let it speak for itself, and uh, we are going this to get through it together. Of a man named Stanley. I played through this too. Stanley so. worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number four two seven. Employee number four two seven's job was simple. He sat at his desk in room four two seven, and he pushed buttons on the keyboard. Orders came to him through a monitor at his desk, telling him what buttons to push how long to push them, and in what order. This is what employee 427 did every day, every month, of every year. And although I'll make a couple of comments considered it uh, soul -ending, when Stanley some of the narration is over. That the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever change Stanley. Something he would never quite forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour when he realized that not one single order had arrived on the monitor for him to follow. No one had showed up to give him instructions, call a meeting, or even say 
Pi. Never in all his years at the company had this happened. This complete isolation. Something was very clearly wrong. Shocked, frozen solid, Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest time. But as he came to his wits and regained his senses, he got up from his desk and stepped out of his office. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. So, a couple of comments I'll make. <coughs> this game is not... Uh... I don't believe this was the ah, first yes, of its kind in this admiring. narration really humor detour, after all. Um, just to spend a few moments here in this kind of walking simulator uh, definitely was Stanley not the first, the first of its kind but i would possibly argue it is the best of its kind and so he detoured through the um, section I, this game came out a few years ago two or three years track. ago maybe um and pretty much every <laughs> game with this type of humor now that I see is uh, compared to uh, Stanley Parable. So if something's got this type of traditionally British uh, voice actor, he wanted um, to wander about and get very sarcastic, very dry humor so now in, order to get um, back, he in a to go situation like this, which there's been a number of games that have come out since, um, pretty much always hear them described as... Uh, you know, oh, no. Stanley Parable no, the type right games. Um, so I kind of just wanted to share it so that uh, no, you guys could see no, 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 what the right. type of game was. If you uh, said it was to the right. Um, what was I think? You've never seen one of these it's before. Clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Now, let's see. We went down right. Left, um, I'm going to use this as an excuse to rest my voice a little bit. Yep. Yep. Okay. Uh, okay. Yes. I'll still describe I've stuff and, and, and talk about stuff, but um, this way. you're mostly going to want to um, listen to the, the voiceover, because it's, it's the entire game is the narration. No, 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 this isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, 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 okay. We just, we just have to back to, um... Who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about, rather than waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense, we'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track, hmm? Okay. From the top. All right. So, I did it wrong. So here we go again. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Okay, this time let's actually go to the meeting room. I'll, I'll obey... I'll obey the first instruction and go to the left door. When Stanley... Oh! oh wait. wait, what? No! <laughs> No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be... Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? Did you move the story somewhere, or... A... Hold on. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay, then. It's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story.
I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you there definitely was a story here before. Do we just... Do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again, but it's got to be better than this. Okay, let's give it a shot. Why not? Attempt number three. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. So right now I'm trying to go and turn off all of the computers. I think only one is on at a time. Uh, so between these two rooms, I'm trying to find. Don't remember exactly what this will do, but it should be entertaining to say the least. Hmm. Maybe there's more in another room though. Trying to think. It may have been all of them. Maybe that's not as many as you can do. Okay, yep. <sighs> I might be remembering this wrong. Yeah. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? I knew we'd miss something. The story. Here it comes. No, wait. Never mind. Not the story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace our steps. Dead end. Now this... Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this place at all. Is this the story? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hmm. Do you remember, Stanley? Would well, you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? You win! I win! Congratulations! I know you put in kind a of. lot of hard work, and it really paid it's, off so. It's just a pity win. Job. Oh, no. No, I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Some people win fair and square, and this was not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time, I have to restart. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. All right, here we go. I've got a solution. This is going to actually show sure me where to go. Get lost, I've employed the help of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just and we'll follow, follow it exactly. How simple is that? We'll get where we're going. You see? The line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. The Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there. Or to put it another way, is the story of no destination That's still a story? Weird. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being via the very manifestation of